Hi guys, I'm back with you today to do a unboxing um, video. I have a big box down here from Firefox. Um, Firebox. I've just opened up the box and this is what is inside. This box cost me a total of don't go blurry. A total of thirty pounds and just over six pounds shipping the box is in a box so let's get rid of the outside box and see what we got i am on my own today my partner lewis is working um well that is not my dress on it on top was a little pack of haribo so this is like i say from fire fire box i think it's called yeah fire box so this is what it looks like it is a mystery box and on the bottom it does say there that it is the foodie one they range in price from 30 to 40 pound depending on if you get a um homeware alcohol unusual foodie they do a few different kinds of boxes but i went with or me and my partner chose to go with foodie so in here we have right on top astronaut ice cream so this is freeze dried ready to eat ice cream i'm just gonna turn that tv off um, so we have astronaut ice cream. Um, I've actually tried this before. It's very nice. I haven't had the ice cream sandwich, but I have had a, um, what's it called? The ne Neapolitan one. So this, I would guess, would be like that. I have the, oh no, I've been invaded by the unicorn trend. I've been avoiding the unicorn trend. Unicorn poop. I haven't been avoiding it because I don't like unicorns. I've been avoiding it because I don't like the multicoloured, bright, in-your-face unicorns that are around at the moment. I like the old mystical ones, the white ones, the, the classic ones. But these are just fruit flavour marshmallows. Now we have a lot of packing peanuts. Let's put the packing peanuts in this box oh i already see the next item let's get rid of some of those there we go ah what have we got this looks good halloumi cookbook now i never know what to do with halloumi i've only have ever had it in salads in wraps or as chips now I know how to use it. I can make a smoky red pepper and aubergine dip, which I won't be because I don't like aubergines. Let's try again. Pomegranate salad with halloumi. Or I could go with roasted vegetables at halloumi brunch. Or I can go with a tzatziki. So, yeah nice little book there and more packing peanuts let's have a look what we find in the packing peanuts lady colored magic unicorn potion um okay what is that it's not in english l caffeine taurine vitamines so i guess this is like an energy drink a mystical magical unicorn energy drink so I will be looking at the prices online after this to see if this is a good box or not. But I've got a feeling it is going to be a little bit overpriced because some of the things say unicorn on it. But let's see what else we've got. Unicorns are very on trend at the moment. They're very in. They're what everybody likes. And this seems to be an on trend item as well. Um, spreadable gin and tonic marmalade. Now, I love marmalade on toast. I love honey on toast. Um, I'm quite simple when it comes to that. 
so this it could be nice i'm not a big gin fan but if i do not like it my partner's mum will love this because she loves gin she actually drinks gin and tonic so that will be good um next is me throwing packing peanuts everywhere merlot flavors of merlot red wine gum wine gums they really just give me wine gums oh these are wine gums with wine in them oh so these look quite good let's open it up and have a look oh flavors of merlot that is what is inside so that is that item they look quite yummy um so is there anything i think that's it guys that is it that is that was the mystery box. That is the last bo item in that box. So we got the gin and tonic marmalade. I'll try it. I'm not going to say I love it. But I will give that a try. It could be, could surprise me, could be really nice. Obviously the Haribo that were on top. But that's not part of the mystery box. That's just a little throw in item. These unicorn poop marshmallows i will say they are very fun colored they are very fun and colorful but they would they they will be good i buy um them type of marshmallows from my local sweet shop anyway the lady colors unicorn potion i say it's a kind of a cute can I will give them that. It is cute. So that's... I don't drink energy drink, so I will actually give this to Lewis to taste test and see if he likes it. But it just does just taste like... Uh, look like a uh, energy drink, a Halloumi cookbook, and a astronaut ice cream sandwich and the adult wine gums so i will have a look how much these are individually to see if they're worth more than the mystery box or see if they're worth less than the mystery box and see what the price range is i think some of these could be a little bit overpriced but we'll have a look and i'll come back to you with that guys so i am back i have found out the prices the unicorn poop these are nine pound and 99 pence but currently on sale for four pound and 99 pence the halloumi cookbook is on is nine pound and 99 pence the oh the ice cream which is this one the astronaut ice cream is currently five pound and 99 pence so the no, the spreadable gin is nine pound and 99 pence as well the unicorn potion is four pound and 99 pence and the wine gums are eight pound and 99 pence and if you are interested in getting these these also come in chardonnay rose and riesling i think is how you pronounce it so would i buy any of this again and do i think what do i think on the price range so the book for 9.99 is really good value it is hardback it's quite thick it's useful i will probably use this and see if i can find another way to cook with halloumi these 
unicorn poops. £9.99, £10 for the unicorn poops. Or we say £4.99 because that's what they're on sale for at the moment. Um, will I buy again? Nope. Do I think it's a good value? Not really. I can buy these in my local sweet shop for two pound two pence sorry that'd be an expensive marshmallow two pound whoa no um two pence per marshmallow and i don't think i'm getting five pounds worth in there um but is it fun yes could i see people buying this yes it is on trend it is or it was i don't follow this kind of trend or it was on trend or it is still in trend so can i see people paying five pound or even full price ten pound for this yes i can so i think that is an okay gift if you know somebody that likes unicorn poops or anything unicorn related but this can be made just by getting a jar and buying the marshmallows yourself from sweet shop which will be a little bit cheaper the um you know the halloumi book the ice cream is next on the list five pound 99 pence that i will buy i would buy this again i don't think i will um but could i would i buy it as a present yes i actually really like this idea if uh, I know anybody that's interested in this space or as a quirky little present, I would buy this again as astronaut ice cream. I think it's quite fun and I think kids particularly will enjoy this. So, yeah, if I know any of my nieces and nephews find an interest in space, I would buy that as a gift, most definitely. The spreadable gin, £9.99. It's quite a small jar. It's actually 225 grams jar of spreadable gin. Would I buy it again? No. Am I likely to like it? I possibly could. I'm more of a rum. Like I drink more rum and um, whiskey cocktails. So I'm not sure if I'm going to like this. But it won't go to waste my partner's mum drinks gin and tonic if we don't like it. The Unicorn Potion. This, in my eyes, is a complete rip-off. Um, this is way overpriced at £5 for a small can, which is 250 millilitres. Um, it's a very small can. It is energy drink where my partner works he sells unflavored energy drinks for 35 pence so no i would not buy this again and no i would not recommend anybody else to buy it even though it is unicorn colored energy drinks are so bad for you anyway so i won't drink this but my partner he drinks them so he'll like that and the last item is the wine gums do I think £8.99 is a good price? I did roughly count how many marsh, uh, not marshmallows, how many jellies are in there. And there is about 12 to 15 jellies in there. So £8.99 is a little bit overpriced for jellies, but they are infused with actual wine. So yeah i am actually going to buy this again my friend's birthday is in august so if these still are on sale or for sale in august i will buy her a packet of these because she does like to drink wine i drink wine now and again so she will appreciate these so I, I, although I will eat, be eating these ones, I will be buying these again. At £8.99, that is not a bad price for something like that. It's a little bit novelty, but 
it's also quite fun. So we've got six items. Ooh, can I do a little magic trick? We got six items, which is these items. And then obviously we got the cookbook, which goes that way around. So for the £30 that I paid for the box, it is quite good. The price would have worked out at £49.94 full price. But again, these are on sale at £4.99. So it would have actually been £44.94. So that's round about £15 more than the actual value. So we got a, we got a deal, I guess, because it is more than what I paid might get another one not anytime soon because i don't want the same items um may get another one in the future i know my partner wants to try the gadget one so when they come back in stock we might have the gadget one obviously we have to buy these ourselves we're not sponsored so they can get expensive so we might do another one but in the description below i think i have a friends and family code i think or i did firebox were doing a thing where if i anybody signs up with my code they get five pounds off their box so if i can find that i'll pass that saving on to you obviously so you can get your own mystery box and save five pound as well but yeah I think this was an okay box. Not a lot of items, but the value was okay. A couple of the items were a bit disappointing, but otherwise it was okay. So I hope you have liked my little video and my collection of videos that I've been doing at the moment on mystery boxes. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye. Hello there. I've been told I've got to try Magical Unicorn Potion. By I, my partner. Yeah, we have no idea what it is, so you're the you're the test bunny. Yeah, I'm the guinea pig today. Trying to decipher what it says on the back. I can't. It's all foreign. So yeah. oh. open up and gobble gobble. Okay, goblin season's gone, it's not turkey season <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I've given him no clues on what it could be. He's just been reading foreign like stuff. Cherry. Smell. Smells like cherry. Oh, it smells like a really bad cherry. Um, also, I've just realised we've got our Christmas calendar up at the end of January. Oh, hi. <laughs> Tasty. Is it, what is it, coffee, energy drink or? Energy drink. It's an energy drink. It tastes better than any energy drinks you can buy in the shops. Yeah? What colour yeah. is it? Uh, just normal clear, like lemonade. Oh no, it's blue. Oh, it's light blue. It's, it it's blue. So. Mm -hmm. You don't like bubblegum. So, I quick reaction, because this is going to go on to the firebox unboxing. What did you think of it? Because you, now you've seen it. Now I've seen it, now I taste it. Yeah, it actually tastes quite nice. What about the other stuff in the box? Good selection, bad selection? Weird. Very weird. <laughs> I'm not going to eat the marmalade, though. You know you're gonna try the marmalade. No. I'll try the marmalade. Uh, fair enough. That's your choice. Any other views on the box, or do you want to say goodbye to the camera? No, that's it, really. Then say but, goodbye anyway. for now, guys. I shall see you later. Bye. Bye.